Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a tool that promises to make understanding code easier than ever. Windsurf code maps. What are they? How do you use them? And why should you care? Stick around and I'll show you why. Okay, code maps. It's basically Windsurf's way of helping you understand the code on the fly. So it's supposed to create like a shared understanding of the system between you and the AI. So the AI can teach you about the code you're looking at quickly and honestly, pretty elegantly. So you can generate a code map for pretty much any system or even just a snippet. And it will show you the code paths. This helps you learn like and remember how different parts of the code base connect, you know. Okay, so uh, I'll show you on the code editor that. Let me switch. Okay, uh, so getting started is pretty much easy. Just click on the new maps icon here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or if you're a keyboard shortcut uh, person, Command Shift uh, C in Windsurf on, Win on Mac OS. Or if you're using Win uh, Windows like I do, then Control Shift C will do the work. So make sure your code base is open, obviously. So uh, you can type in exactly what you want to do or just pick from the suggestions it gives you. So you can see that here. And also you have suggestions here. So. Uh, Honestly, CodeMaps is the best when you're trying to figure out how something actually works uh, in your code or where it's actually happening. So uh, when you uh, open CodeMaps in Windsurf, you can just type in what you're trying to do like this or use these suggestions here. And uh, uh, one thing here is that it makes a snapshot of your code, but it's zero data retention, which is really good. So you can uh, when you type something like test, Okay, just I'm going to demonstrate this. You can pick uh, between two models here. So the fast is uh, SWE 1.5 or Vins from Windsurf, or you can choose uh, Smart, which uses Sonnet 4.5. So uh, what you get is uh, is actually a visual map that groups related code sections together. Uh, I'll just open something here that I generated previously. So uh, show you that part first. So uh, it just nests uh, these uh, logics here and each little node links right back to the exact lines in your code. So that's pretty cool, actually. If I click to anything here, you'll see that it links here, links here and opens this like that. So uh, you can actually jump to these parts as, I, as I've shown you. So, uh, also, there's a visual uh, code map here, like drawing. If you click on this part here, you'll see the map here. I'll just zoom a bit and then we'll see part of the code that we are at actually. So if I click to anything here, it will open that part of the code here on the right side. So uh, if you need more content, uh, context of this, on this, you can just go here and click this see more. That was actually opened on the first thing that I had here. And uh, you can see uh, actually what is motivation, what is actually happening here in this application that I'm working on. So we can see the details why it actually, uh, it just explain, explains those, why those lines or code are grouped together. So uh, also a good thing about this feature is that you can inside of the cascade like reference a code map using code map in your prompt. So I'll just show you this. This part of the code. Okay, I'll open the cascade. Yep. And now I can just say uh, code. Code map. Okay, code maps. We have code map two code maps available. We can click here and it will say, okay, admin management or uh, this course systems. And then you can ask anything about this. So uh, let me try something here. So uh, the thing with this is actually, uh, this makes the agent uh, way better at doing what you want. So you can use the whole map or just parts of it. And this is interesting. So that this provides a better context to our code and our IDE here, AI IDE language models about our code so i think this this thing is really really interesting and useful especially if you you're new on a project or you are onboarding some people so uh what's happening about this is that 
everything like so everything right it starts with just understanding what's going on so they're really good engineers they are not just coding machines they can actually read code you know and uh, build a mental picture of how everything fits together across all the different files and systems so but honestly these these code bases are just massive hundreds of files crazy abstractions it really kills productivity so uh, the numbers are kind of insane so let me show you something so on the cognition page uh, we have some like uh, these numbers so uh, they take like a uh, for new engineers, it takes like three to nine months. Let me show you that. So it takes three to nine months uh, to set up, uh, to get up to the speed, actually. Senior engineers IV are wasting five plus hours a week just onboarding people. So and Stripe, they figured out that dealing with the old code was the biggest time suck. So, uh, and it's not just one time thing either. You're paying that cost every single time you switch between projects and code bases that's brutal so good maps is trying to fight back uh, against this thing that we call uh wipe slop basically it's when people just blindly accept ai generated code without actually understanding it the coders who are really productive with ai they can kind of surf the wave of code that uh, they already get so but people get into trouble when the AI is spitting out code faster than they can actually comprehend it. So, uh, if you understand something, you're accountable for it. As AI does more of the work, the hard stuff left for us humans is gonna need a real understanding. Like debugging crazy complex systems, refactoring old code, making big architecture decisions. Good Maps tries to bridge that gap uh, by giving both humans and AI shared view of the system, as you can see there. So there was an option, as I, as I mentioned and showed, that uh, we can just provide the con uh, these code maps as a context to our language models. So uh, how is it all structure and how data flows uh, where everything lives? So we are doing that actually with this uh, code maps. So uh, Windsurf code maps in, that's that's actually Windsurf code maps in a nutshell. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, if you did, please uh, give it a like uh, and subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and software development tips. And next up, check out my video uh, on is it this the fastest AI coding model, 3.1.5, to see another amazing tool in action. So it's actually, uh, Windsor's new coding model that is really, really fast. So you can check it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.